Welcome back everyone. I am Candice, a rapid manifestation coach who helps you manifest faster, easier, with the simplest methods possible. Everyone a part of this community knows manifesting is not complicated. It's simple. So today I am here to talk to you about something that I have had to kind of go through with my clients a lot more than usual. And it's obviously something that I need to do a wider video video on. And the title of this video is like, who said that? Who told you that? How do you know? And I am talking today all about limiting beliefs. So we know that, or everyone here watching my channel knows that I'm all about manifesting simply. I use affirmations and as my primary way of manifesting, affirming and acting as if I'm the person who already has my manifestation. Like those are one of two of the three pillars of my manifesting process. Like I only have three and those are two of the biggest ones, right? But when you're affirming, <clears throat> there's a reason why these like huge affirmation lists don't, you know, if everyone read these same affirmation lists, they would just already have what they want, right? And the reason that they don't work is because you have to have affirmations that really go after your specific limiting beliefs about why you believe it's not going to happen, why you believe it's not going to work. So one of the things that I have had to talk to my clients and just people in my life about is how to help yourself when you are limiting yourself and you don't even know it. So let's say that you want a car or something, right? And and you can use this simple phrase to do it. Who said that? How do you know? Who told you that? You can, you know, that's all that you need to do. Let's say you are trying to get a job. It is a job that you really, really want. It's perfect for you. It's got the flexibility you want. It's got the perfect salary that you want. And you're just like, oh, I need this job. But when you go to apply, when you go to put your resume together, all of a sudden you get these little doubting feelings and insecurities of, oh man, I'm probably, you know, not qualified enough. There's probably going to be so many applicants. They put this job out two weeks ago. It's probably too late. And when you start to have these thoughts, this is all that I want you to ask yourself. Who told you that? Who said that? How do you know? How do you know it's too late? How do you know that you applied they put the job out two weeks ago, so now it's too late. Do you work in the recruiter's office? Who told you that? How do you know? Okay, there's probably too many applicants and I'm just, I'll be thrown to the bottom of the pack. Do you work in HR? How do you know? For all you know, for all you could be telling yourself, you are the only applicant. Your application is, it stands out so much, they put it at the top of the pile. They only call you. Who who knows what they've been doing in these last two weeks? They haven't had time to call anybody. You're the first one they call and you just wow them on the interview. How do you know? Why would you? We are always our biggest our biggest villains. We're always our, like the culprit of our manifestation not coming because we tell us these crazy things all the time. How do you know? Who told you that? Okay. Well, I probably can't get approved for this car because, you know, my credit's not that great. And they're probably going to be asking for like a bigger down payment than what I have in my savings. How do you know? Who told you that? Do you work in the dealership? Are you in the finance office? Because if you're not, well, I worked in this other car dealership before and we always look for, is that this dealership? Do you work there currently? When you're manifesting, we always feel like we have some control over what's happening. I can go apply for this car because I know my credit is probably good enough and I have enough savings. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because when you're manifesting, when you are living the reality in your mind, when you are saying these affirmations, you are putting it out there and it's not up to you how the rest of it happens. Neville Goddard tells us there's a bridge of events that, that happens. It depends on other people and other things. And these other people, you don't control that. It's not up for you to know. The person in the finance office maybe has a new program for people with credit below a certain level. Maybe a certain car just got sold to them from somebody that has, you know, qualifies for a low down payment. You don't know. Stop limiting yourself and cutting yourself off. When you start to feel those doubts and insecurities, when you start to tell yourself those things, how do you know? I remember, because y'all know I used to be a math teacher. That's why I 
math teachers y'all are lazy okay mathematicians are lazy right always looking for shortcuts always looking for a faster way to do things you guys remember being in school and those proofs and equations would be like a whole page long always looking for that's why we have like all these little tips and tricks on how to solve problems because we're looking for shortcuts that's why i teach in the most simple way shortcutting to get your manifestation faster that's why i am good at this right but back when i was a teacher and i didn't want to be a teacher anymore i was looking for a job that would provide me flexibility a higher salary you know all the things that like teachers complain about right and so i was looking online and i saw this job that i wanted and i said okay well this looks perfect let me apply for it and do you know that these people called me and all I was doing was my little affirmations, my techniques, whatever. And these people called me and they said, man, I actually was about to close this job. I saw your, your submission and I said, I've got to call this person. If I had looked at the date that they posted that job, which was like a month prior, I probably would have said, uh, it's whatever. It's too late. But I would have just been limiting myself. It is not up to me or you how your manifestation will come. Stop limiting yourself. Um, uh, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out or say anything to this to this guy or this girl because they probably aren't look at them, they probably aren't interested in me. How do you know? Are you a mind reader? Are you in their mind? Yo, I have to do this to my husband all the time. He'll say something like, Yeah, well they probably I'm like, How do you know? How? How do you know? Did they tell you that? Did the job tell you that? Then how do you know? You guys have got to go past. And that is one of the reasons I think why I'm such a great manifester is because I do not believe in any blocks or things coming in my way. If it is, you know, if I have thought it, if I have conceived it, I know it exists and I can have it. And I don't tell myself, I'm not sabotaging myself and telling myself there are people all over this world and all over this earth that will try to tell you how to do things and what can happen and what's possible and societal norms and blah, 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 blah. You have got to believe that what you have thought and what you have conceived will grow as long as you focus on it, put yourself in that, <clears throat> in that mindset of the person who has it, it will happen, okay? I remember I had a client who was like, well, I'm an immigrant. Um, I'm here in America. I'm here in the United States. She was like, well, I'm an, I'm an immigrant. So like, that's my problem. And I'm like, no, no, don't. Whatever has happened to a vast majority, whatever has happened. And I think she was talking about like work, college, something like that. Whatever has applied to even a majority of people. Look at all the people in the world who have gone on to like accomplish great things. They have always always you know usually in their stories surpass the majority just because they believed that they could whatever would typically happen for them you know would not happen they would go up they would get you know above average results just because they believed that they could you have got to be brave enough to believe and ask yourself who told me that okay so if you guys need some help, you already know email coaching is open. Unlimited for one month is the only package I'm offering right now. <clears throat> and typically I don't do um, renewals because by the end of the month, you're good to go. You know what you have to do and you are a rapid manifester just like myself. So if you need any help, check out the link in the description box. I will see you guys next time.